Welcome to Expressivo Arts, I'm Marshall Shaw. In this video, I will demonstrate my journey to use a sample brief composition created in StaffPad for iPad. It has an ostinato or pattern motion in the four accompanying parts translated with creating a scalar three version with its own motion loops. Here is the sample piece with only the four part staff pad accompaniment, followed by the addition of the solo cello melody. I hope you enjoy it. Let's get started. I'm in Logic Pro where I've just dragged in my MIDI chords from StaffPad and I'm now asking Scalar to detect MIDI and I'll just push play and it will, of course, record properly all the chords of this piece of music. Notice that the record button is flashing. It must be flashing to, to detect these chords. Okay, now I'm going to select, select these chords and send them to my main track. Then I'm going to go to the Arrange page and to the other side to upper right and select one quarter note so I can make my chords as small as one quarter beat. So this is a three quarters. This is going to be one quarter. This G major will be smaller by one quarter and this will be a quarter. And I'll select the remaining chords and pull them over. And I will shorten the F minor and the G minor so they're half note in length each. Okay, now let's add the staff pad cello and let's hear it. Okay, so I am now in Scalar 3 and I'm going to add the various ostinato patterns that I want. The first being in the bass, common bass, straight, straight number two. I favorited this and I've selected it. I'm now going to drag it up into Logic and it's going to be played by the free solo cello from the Berlin Free Orchestra. Okay, now let's add our second ostinato that will be our solo violin. So I'm going to, I've already favorited these. I, that's something I recommend you do that. And this is quite bouncy. So I'm going to add it to the solo violin from the Free Berlin Orchestra and see what it sounds like.
OK. So that's the violin. Let's continue and add something else. This will be what I perceive to be a eventual clarinet part. Again, something I've already favorited, auditioned and favored. Uh, okay, so it's going to be right here in Scalar 3. I'm going to drag it out of Scalar 3. But before I do that, I've got to bring the melody or the ostinati up one octave because it's too low in certain places for the clarinet or let's say a, a viola. So now I'm going to drag that up into Logic. And this time I'm going to have the free Berlin Orchestra clarinet solo. You heard the little mistake there. It sounded like there was a clash of two notes in two different parts, so I'll go back and fix that later. So now let's add a flute part. Again, something I've favorited and let's see what it looks like. There it is. So it looks quite bouncy. Again, it's not in the flute register, so I'm going to select all of it and bring it up one octave and click in there and there it is. And then I'll drag it from Scalar 3 into Logic Pro on this lane or track and let's hear what it sounds like. Okay, I'll just fix this one note. It's at this time that I listen to each track separately to make sure all notes are correct and adhere to its specific chords. And then I listen for groups of instruments that might clash at a certain specific beat because of a, a tone or a semitone difference. And I correct that and possibly arrange it so it's much better sounding. I'm going to do that now, so I'll be right back. Well, I'm back. And here's what we have. To finish off this demonstration, I've chosen an upper register ethereal instrument from the Farlight library in Contact 7. This is to add an ethereal quality in contrast to the acoustic style instruments in solo cello. Let's hear a sample of that. You will now hear the piece with just the Logic Pro ostinato or patterns mimicking my original composition, then the added cello solo exported from Staff Pad. Finally, in the ending version, you will hear everything. Thank you for watching this video to the very end. Please like and subscribe if you found this content useful. I'd love to read some of your comments on how you might incorporate some of my ideas or suggest new ones to me. Take the best of care and I'll see you in the next video.
Thank you.